Hi, e-skaters. Um, one thing that dawned on me over the weekend was um, a lot of people asking questions about why I'm not using carbon fiber, uh, a full carbon fiber deck. Um, some people question that. So, I mean, I think from memory, um, the difference between a carbon fiber deck and a wooden deck, I think it's 600 grams. Um, but let's just measure it and we'll, we'll know for sure. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the, um, the Raptor 1 deck here. This is a full carbon fiber deck. Um, it's got a components housing already built into it and it's foam core. So it's really light. Let's throw this on the scales. Can you see that? Um, so 1760 grams, 1760 grams, take that off, so this is the deck that we're, this is an early prototype of the deck for the Raptor 2, solid wood, um, it's, you know, it's pretty thick, um, and carbon fiber veneer top and bottom. And basically, we're going to cut out several layers. I think it's about three layers. We cut down deep in there and we put the um, components enclosure on there like that. This isn't the real one, but let's see what it weighs. 2730. Okay, so the total weight difference is about a thousand grams. Now, that, bear in mind, we haven't cut out those three layers to seat the um, in components enclosures, to seat that into the deck. So we're cutting three layers out of, it's about 80% of the deck um, we, we cut that out of. So from memory last time, it's, I think it's about 600 grams. So then uh, the question is, what is the difference between having a really lightweight carbon fiber deck with everything already integrated it into the, to the, you know, it's like one piece versus a wood deck, ply deck with a components enclosure that attaches. So, a few of the things to think about with this is that is really, really expensive to manufacture and it's really quite slow to manufacture. You need to have a mold um, to make this. Each mold that we have, you could probably make a, a large mold that does multiple, but our mold for this is does one at a time. And to scale that up production wise, we need to build more molds. And they're pretty expensive. I mean, we probably would need at least at least five molds to run the numbers that we're forecasting. Um, and the cost of doing that would ultimately take money away from what I can put into the product. I mean, every cost has to be recovered. So if I spent thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on molds guess what? You guys get a skateboard that has less technology in it, less uh, lower specs, less batteries. You get the point. So uh, this is a cheaper way to go, definitely, in terms of manufacturing costs. Um, we can manufacture these decks. It still needs a mold. Don't get me wrong. You still need to press it in a mold, but the molds are cheaper the processes are more, more simple, essentially. So you can pump out these uh, wood decks very, very quickly. Um, now, down to the technical uh, material properties and the specifications. Carbon fiber is very strong and very light. It can, I mean, this was rated to 200 kilos, which, I mean, that's the max weight. You, you, ideally, you don't want to run it at its max, but it's strong from, from top 
to bottom, it can bear the load quite easily. But um, blunt blunt force impacts here on the side. It's it's not really. I mean, it's it's not so good for um, that that sort of. I mean, a skateboard. If you ever have crashed your skateboard and it flies off down the street and runs into a gutter, that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Um, obviously, we put some protection on the the nose and the tail, but I mean. Yeah, the impact resistance is not that great, um, but very light, very strong. Here, um, obviously, well, you can hear it, it's dense. Um, if this runs into a gutter, yes, it will get scuffed and it might bend up some of the layers of ply, but structurally, it's not compromised. You could sand that back and clean it up if you wanted, um, but structurally, it's not really compromised. This, if it gets um, a, a large gash or something in it, water can get in it. It can be structurally compromised, so you'd need to repair it, which you can do, actually. You can repair carbon fiber. It's just a little bit more fiddly. Uh, so this way, um, the other thing with wood as well. Now, skateboarders will, will confirm this. Wood is just a bit more natural underfoot. Um, it tends to have a little bit of a dampening property to it as well. So, I mean, this is going to have a little bit of flex in it. Obviously, we've got a rigid battery pack in there that cannot flex. Um, but the general feeling of it underfoot will be like it's a little bit... Yeah, there'll be a little bit of a dampening feel there, a slight sort of flex in it. Um... And that can add up when you're going at high speeds. That that can help lessen some of the, the road chatter um, and overall just improve the, the ride quality. So what I'm saying here, guys, is with this option, um, you're getting a more natural feel. You're getting a more robust uh, platform to build your electric skateboard on. The money that we've saved goes into more cells, better technology, better component upgrades in all of our electronics. So you you sort of, you take money out of one pile, you put it in the other. Um, and that means at the end of the day, the, the retail price eventually that we'll sell this for is basically the same as the old one. You're just getting a lot more in it. You're just not getting a carbon fiber deck. Uh, what else is there to say? Um, you know, we've still got... We we're still using carbon fiber on here to to um, make it nice and stiff. So it still looks awesome. I mean, it's going to look sweet. Um, it's the same shape and everything like that. I've actually taken an inch off the tail. The tail on this one, um, or is it an inch? Maybe it's slightly less than an inch. I don't know if you can see it. I'll just see. If okay, can we see this? So the, the nose, you can see the nose is at the same point. And then you can just see the tail a little bit longer on the carbon fiber deck. So I noticed when riding that you, that extra little bit, it's just not needed. I mean, it, so, it sounds insignificant, but um, a slightly shorter deck. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter too much to how the board handles when you're riding, but um, yeah, I just trimmed it down a little bit. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Um, and if you're interested in building electric skateboards, go to the Electric Skateboard Builders Forum. You can learn everything. You can learn how to build this stuff. I mean, you don't need to buy stuff off me. You just build it yourself. But um if you do want to buy stuff off me, the Raptor 2, which is basically what I'm talking about here, is going on sale on the 28th of November, 1 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. I think that's what that means. So um, that's like Los Angeles. Uh, so 1 p.m., set your alarm clock. Make sure you sign up to the referral program. You can earn cash. You can actually earn unlimited amounts of cash by referring people to these products refer your friends share it on facebook um, and before you know it you might actually get yourself a free raptor or 
Maybe you don't like skateboarding. Maybe you just like cash. Anyway, share it, guys. See you.